Okay, I'm gonna look so. Anyways, hey guys. Hey guys, what's up? It's Haji here, finally. I know y'all miss me because I haven't really, I feel like I haven't posted in a long time. Today's video is gonna be a how to get a job as a teenager video. If you didn't know i'm 16 years old i just got my first job yeah so it was a bit of a struggle i mean if you don't know starting the whole process you might need some tips so i got you you want to feel independent i want to feel independent i want to make my own red you know what i'm saying so i got myself a little job let's just get started with this i got my laptop right here for all of my notes so. okay first off usually you got to be 16 years old which is so annoying last year when i went into jobs in 7th grade like they didn't care if you're not 16 basically they pretty much just ignore you i'm gonna pop some up on the screen some jobs that accept people under 16 like 14 15 but it's very rare if even if they do accept people under 16 it's probably like certain states and stuff so i'm gonna put it on the screen and you can like search it up if they allow you in your state but most of the jobs that i wanted last year you had to be 16 so or you can get a job underneath the table but we're not trying to do that okay this is like the official way okay but yeah next up you gotta make a resume this is really important your resume can like that's like what they look at even if you have no work experience i had no actual work experience but i still got my job so i'm gonna give y'all the rundown real quick on how you should make your resume okay you don't gotta buy a template google docs has templates already free so go on there get a little pre-made templates that you're just gonna fill in your information so this is where school activities come into hand like clubs that you did after school sports all that stuff okay so like i said i had no work experience but i'm part of the junior class committee that's a good one to put down because i included that i collaborated with like a team of six we planned major events for our class made me seem like i'm a good team member so i included babysitting literally if you babysitted your cousin one time put it down there put it on the resume and being a softball manager i include that as well like anything that just makes you look good and makes you look like responsible put it down on the paper i included my gpa at school which does make me look a little good because i have a 4.27 gpa so uh, i can um what the heck was i gonna say all right next up i use indeed the brightness keeps going up and down i'm sorry but basically i use indeed to find my job it's just a website we can go in log in put in your location and you can just like find jobs near you so yeah they have different filters type of job like part-time full-time when you're looking for a job there's some things you should keep in mind first off the location if you don't have a car which you probably don't i don't have a car either your legs are your transportation so you want something that's walkable not too far or bussable <laughs> i don't like having to depend on people to drop me to my job like you want to know your form of transportation before you start looking for a job i got a job at a restaurant I like working with kids like little kids but all those were way too far for me it was like an hour walk walking who's about to do that next up look at the workload look at the job description the qualifications and see if you are qualified and see if you're up for that you know being a cashier or whatever you have to like talk to people at the front being a cashier is sort of like all over the place you got to make sure that it's something that you you're fine with y'all like my nails though not them signing me out this oh my god okay so now that we got that out the way you got your resume made you saved the jobs on india that you want to apply for now we're going in we're going to apply. You click the apply button, add in your resume, save it to your laptop, continue on, answer a few questions that the company might have. Um, they might ask you what days you want to work, what shifts you want to work. Um, please don't overwork yourself. I say like if you're still in school like me, three, four days tops. Like I would said four days, but I might end up changing that to like three or two because I still have like school, you know, what else? <laughs> What else I got? I still got school, YouTube, clubs, time to myself, homework, college application, my personal life, you know, hanging out with friends. It's a lot that goes on that you're gonna have to deal with. Just give yourself breaks. You don't wanna overwork yourself. You regret it, so. There's also like a cover resume thing. Just put in like a simple two, three sentences about yourself and then I included some skills. So I applied to about seven to 10 jobs. I got accepted to like four, I say. About two or three of them were too far for me. I applied to some that were still far just because I just wanted to see if they would accept me. <laughs> but it was just too, too far. Like I cannot, I can't, can't do an hour bus drive, no. Okay, once you applied, I really think it's important to follow up. So once I applied to my job, the next day, Indeed actually emailed me. They was like, stand out from other applicants. I was like, let me do that on indeed you can like message the employers so i'm gonna put in my paragraph of what i said basically i introduced myself i said a few things about me and why am i interested in the job they add a question at the end because that sort of like requires them to respond so yeah they responded back and they answered my question and then like two hours later they asked me if i 
could come in for an interview. I'm gonna give a little bit some interview tips, I guess. First off, don't be nervous. I was so nervous for what? Like, they need you more than you need them. Let's be honest. They need your labor more than you need their money. Okay, even if it's the opposite and you really do need the money, don't let them see that. Okay, be confident. Be relaxed. A lot of times I notice when I'm nervous, I like play with my hands or like play with my bracelet or touch my hair a lot. So I really just was very conscious of like my body language basically. It's like, girl, we gonna look a little calm. Like, like I know what I'm doing. It's good posture, you know? Very important. Introduce yourself, be friendly, be like, hey, we didn't do the handshake thing because, you know, so I had my mask on, but I was like, hi, I'm blah, 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 nice to meet you. So they asked the basic questions like, why should they hire you and just say why they should? I said, I'm a very committed, dependable, responsible person, which I am. Um, then they asked you, why are you interested in the position? And I said, I want to work on improving and developing new skills. But yeah, I was like, this is going to help me with my communication skills as a cashier. And I'm not telling you this so you can just repeat exactly what I said. Come on out. But like, just some stuff to go off of or what's a bad trick you have and how you're working on it. What days are you available? What shifts are you available? So you want a job that's flexible because you're still in school so you still have other responsibilities. It's really important. So it wasn't really hard. It was like 10, 15 minutes in and out. I got the job right after I finished the interview. Yeah, so dress proper. I didn't wear this. Talk loudly so they can hear you. At the end, they're definitely gonna ask you what some questions you have for them, so. Write down a few questions that you genuinely want to know the answer to about like the workplace. Uh, make eye contact, don't be nervous, and that's really it. <laughs> don't allow one bad interview or one bad, one rejection to stop you from going because there's gonna be something that's gonna accept you eventually. Okay, if you ever plan on quitting, just a heads up, two weeks notices are very important for your next job because they're probably gonna ask about your previous employer. And if you ended on bad terms, you cussed them out, something like that. It's not gonna look good they're not gonna say anything good about you so making sure that you have good relationships with your co-worker your boss ending on good terms important just get a planner once you get a job Those things life can get hectic trying to balance that right get a planner be organized it's really not hard to apply for a job like i'm so thankful for the internet it can be a little overwhelming at times but the first day it's the hardest day get out the way you'll be fine and it's some good experience and it's nice to have on your college resume so how to make money as a teenager all those all the other how-to videos on my channel check it out i feel like those are really helpful probably my favorite videos of mine and if you got a job let me know down below whenever you start applying for a job you know like i applied for my first job today blah 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 come back and update it if you ever do get a job so that is it for my tips on how to apply for a job as a teenager um if you made it this far comment the red flower emoji if you watch to the end you're thorough thank you all right that's it make sure to subscribe okay don't leave the video about subscribing or at least give me a thumbs up. Let me shut up. Let me not beg for subscribers. Subscribe if you want to. Don't subscribe if you don't want to. I understand. Okay, bye. Wait a minute. Who?